Hi YouTube, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. And look, who I wrote all the way to Essex. <laughs> She's on a little holiday. I know. We're in the sticks. You were, yeah, we are in the middle of the We're in the sticks. It's lush though. So I managed to get Amber all the way to Essex because we're going to do stay or shot it because you guys will not leave me alone and you keep asking me to get on. So I finally persuaded her. Keep all status across the seasons together. Good fucking taste, you lot. Who asked for this? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do stay or shot it. I thought that would be quite apt considering I think Amber would just say it, anything, and I'll just shut it. I asked on Instagram because you guys would ask way juicier questions than fucking Google would. Who's your least favourite islander? My least favourite are too. I don't like Luca and Dat Me anymore. Yeah. I don't actually like them. No, I don't like them either. No. Those are mine too. I think bad vibes. No, if it's like, I know everyone says it's edited and stuff, but like we can see what's happening and like there's yeah. consistent conversations about Tasha like yeah. why do we not just leave the girl alone like I'm not understanding I don't like that like when someone's crying and they go over them and be like <laughs> they can't dub over what someone says they're not making up that any of the stuff they've said isn't right yeah. they, production don't make someone look like a bad person when they're not doing bad things yeah. so I've seen enough and my Seen judgment it. is that I used to really like them and now I don't, they're my least favourite. Yeah, they're my least favourite too. Who is the most famous person who slid in your DMs? Oh, um, 21 Savage. No! Yeah. No way! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just the ring emoji and like, on like one of those, what's it called, like a bomb like photo where it comes up and then it goes. Yeah. It's him, yeah, 21 Savage. I mean, I didn't reply like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool, by the way. That was really cool. I don't really get people. Jedward, Gemma Collins, Pads. No one like 21 Savage level. It was so random. Yeah. It was like, is this like, is someone trying to prank it? Like, no, that was really like, cool. That's yeah. a fucking good one. Who is your least favourite islander from your season? I never answer this question, so okay, cheers. We already know who mine is, and I'm sick of talking about it, and I don't want it to seem like I just keep going on about it. Nah. No. No, but it just looks like I keep going on about it, like, no? So no. Yes, well, you already know, like, and if you don't know. If you do your research, where have we been? <laughs> this is warm. <laughs> Did you do Love Island for the fame? Partially. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I went on it for the experience and yeah. I thought, I did quit my job so I thought something's got to come out of this. Thought, I didn't. But you wanted enough for love? No, I didn't go on for love. <laughs> Absolutely didn't go on for love. But I didn't go on for fame. Like, no. I, no. Thought, I thought that I'd get kicked off after week one because yeah. I thought people would hate us. And you did, but I stayed in apparently. And then <laughs> I won it. Yeah. Public enemy number one at the beginning. And I yeah. thought that I was going to get kicked out. So I didn't think anything would come of it. And then The producers nice me though because I think if it was up to the public, where it was up to the I'd have been finished. But they kept when getting the idea. It happened twice where the islanders had to save people but yeah. times they saved me and yeah. I was like If it was up to the public I'll be gone Who is the most problematic islander from your season? Mine was Betty, like <laughs> She won't hate me for saying this but she did beef Me, Teddy, Matt, Dale <laughs> Everyone, she was everyone, got yeah. everyone, everyone got it Yeah, everyone got it with Faye so yeah. At least she, she was fair though, nobody got left behind Everyone got screamed at so. <laughs> One time she was like shouting at people and then after she was like, well who's fucking next? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Who was the most problematic on your series? You had Destiny's Childish, so she was Childish, yeah. Yeah. Michael. Jordan. Michael. Yeah. Jo Jordan. Jo Jordan. Yeah. He was quite problematic. Or me, I was a little bit problematic sometimes. Not unjustified though. Yeah, it was and always... I feel like yours always came from a place that people understood, whereas when Jordan did yeah, not say like... to Anna, it was like, oh, okay, it's so yeah. drugs. Yeah, them boys are so, the most problematic. If you could be in another series, which series would you be in? Um, I'd like to go in this one because I feel like I'd argue with everyone. Yeah, and now I'm confident. Yeah. I'd just go around beating yeah. everyone. No, I was too conscious in mine that like because I was if I, yeah. if I thought off oh, it's not nice and like I don't want I didn't want to do that. Yeah. But now I know that people like messy bitches. Yeah. I would go in there and fucking yeah. kick off. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Or season three. Just because they were all. It was like Chris and Cat and yeah. Oh, I love and that. And you could season. drink and you could smoke and yeah. you could do everything. So it would just be a bit That was a messy it. season. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you're right. That one off. But this one I would love to go in and beef yeah. everyone. I wouldn't even stop. No. Why is your body count? I'm not answering it because you guys always fucking ask. I've said it enough times. I don't need to repeat myself. How, how do you know what it is? Your body count. Yeah. How many people is that with? Yeah. Is it that many? <laughs> I can't remember though. In case it's not that many, but I can't remember. No. Well, cheers. cheers for that again. 
the rudest celebrity or person you've met? I'm not gonna say that'll get me in trouble. I haven't met them. Oh. But the person that was the rudest to her is mm. Nicola McLean. Oh my god, no, because I loved her. Yeah, no. Was she rude? So I went to Winter Wonderland the year like I came out and so yeah. it was intense and I thought it was like a press evening and it was like loads of kids and stuff and that was fine but I couldn't get into any rides and I couldn't do anything because people were like proper like swarming Swarm, us yeah. and then I left the I left Winter Wonderland after taking millions of photos I did have to start saying no to people because I wanted to go on rides the whole park was coming no, down I get that it's time and place right? well, yeah. and she put on, out this story about us going she acted like Kim Kardashian like because one of our nieces or cousins or something was there oh Nicola and I was like yeah Nicola! She that's was like sad. talking to her story and like obviously it's intense when you first yeah. go out as well but she was like she thought that she was Kim Kardashian and she did like screenshots of WhatsApp messages being like just so Amber and she asked like a Kardashian and I was like she was oh. tagging us in it as well and I was like this is very smart. I don't know what I'm not gonna say mine words how are you do. Disgustingly rude. Why? Me and Toby, we were at the NTAs. Uh, Michael McIntyre came over and we were like, oh my god, oh my god. And then in the back of my, oh my god, oh my god. Love Island. And I was like, all right. And he was like, who do you think you are? And I was like, oh my god, I'm embarrassed. I was like, like you're a full grown man. Who do you think the biggest game player in the villa is this year? Luca. Yeah. He's going out like Jake. And look what, what happened to Jake in wow. last season. What is your current bank balance? I'm not telling you that. I don't even know. Alright, cheers to that. That's why I just do YouTube and stuff now. How much are you paid per Instagram post? Not saying. It varies. It can vary. And the brand as well. If I really want to work with a brand, I'm, I'll, I'll lower it. Lower it. But I'm not even going to give you a ballpark figure. It's like curdling because it's warm and it's like milk. Have I actually been with a married man? Hmm. Oh, see, I wanted to know this. Did. I just made fucking sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the person? Did you see the girl tweeting on Twitter? No, it wasn't, it wasn't him. So that was a complete lie. So some weird girl, weird little girl, oh, you're a like freak. <laughs> yeah, taking it in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't even explain to you how fucking weird that is to say that about that. Some girl tweeted when I was in quarantine that it was her dad, and it wasn't. The press went investigating, and she was like, no, she was like, oh, I just made it up for Twitter. Like, that wasn't true. Is that shit for her dad? No. But yeah. Yeah. And her dad didn't even, he wasn't even anything to do with the company I work for, so yeah. it was like, actually, like, that girl is a freak, mate. Did you, how did you feel about that when it was in the VT? Well, so I didn't watch my VT, and I don't know how they did it for you, so I did my quarantine, and it was like two and a half weeks, ten days in, they were like, right, we're going to do press day now. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And so we had like a briefing with the press team from ITV before, and they're like, yeah, you made a comment about a married man in your thing, and I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, you said the part was to a married man. And I was like, oh my god, that was a joke. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like now people get my sense of humor. Yeah. Like, it was evil. I don't, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. Yeah. So it's heartbroken. But yeah, I said it, and then they were just like, do you like my moment? Do you like my moment? And I was like, someone called my mum. I remember them saying to me, oh, what about this married man? And I was like, I'm partial to a married man. <laughs> and I was like, I'm fucking no, it broke my heart. So I made a joke, but obviously the way they spun it, I don't give a fuck. I said what I said. Cut the cameras. Did you have sex in the villa? No. Oh, I did. And also, we had the graduation ceremony when we told everyone that I had sex that like, way after I'd had sex. So I was like, this is ITV doing me a favour. Oh, they kept yeah. worrying, like, oh my god, they're going to show me at night time, you know, yeah. blah, blah. but they'd always say to us, Chloe's not porn hub, but I was like, no, I don't care. Yeah. No, it was fine. Well, like, by the time I was having it, every other bed in the fucking villa was shagging. It was, it was a bit weird when you think about it. But it's very strange. If you could go into the villa now and bitch out one boy for their behaviour, who would it be? They're all getting in this yeah. season. I actually don't even rate one of them. No. Do I not? Even. Deb, are you all Deji's getting in? Deji's okay, but that's because not say much. He's not said one word yeah. in four episodes. Yeah, he just makes facial expressions, but. Deb, they would get it for his rudeness they can do. Andrew would get it. Luca, you're getting it because you're going out like Jay. Sammy, you're getting it because you're a bad person. And is that everyone? Do you know what? Billy? Well, I would fucking say it. Who's Billy? I don't mind him. I don't mind him. But I think of that Gemma thing, like pick, but, pick yeah, a like, team to yeah. back for. Just because you want Luca to like you, didn't have to be a wet wipe. Right? Yeah. And I said Jay was big game player, and I said Charlie looked like a Nick. I saw them, and I told them to their face. So yeah. no one can ever dig me out. I say yeah. it. What's your worst 
sex position. I haven't got any bad ones, I'm great. Maybe cowgirl, I don't like going on top. No, 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 yeah, me too. I don't I'm not like that. that. What has been your least favourite brand, Zill? I'm probably not going to air it out because if they come knocking again, I might do it. Oh, yeah, big one. Price is right. Are you using yours? No. Okay. I can't think of what it is. Cheers. So that is the end of part one of Say It or Shot It. We split it into two because we absolutely overdid it and just gave you way too much content for one video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do the we'll most. See you in the next one.